Hi everyone, so uh, I thought I'd do a little video on area of trapezoids. Uh, just because people see the formula, which looks a little bit, in some cases, looks a little bit like this. B1 plus B2 times H over 2, that's the area formula for trapezoid. Or you may even see 1 half base 1 plus base 2 times H. There's a, there's a couple ways that you can see it. And where the heck does that come from? Well, most four-sided uh, four figures, four-dimensional, four-sided figures come from the idea of rectangles. So if I have a rectangle, and let's say this is a 2 by 4. So the 2 would mean I'd split it in half. Area, by the way, is kind of like setting down tile on a floor. It's like how many one-by-one one tiles will it take to make it work? That's what area really represents. It's it's almost a purchasing decision, like you're at Lowe's or wherever you go to buy home supplies. How many tiles do you need to buy? That's the question that area wants to know. Area's kind of nosy, I guess. Can I help you with your tiles? Anyway, so now that I had the 4 by 2 set up, I would count these up, and I would say, well, the area of this rectangle is 8. Well, obviously, uh, you can see that 4 times 2 is 8, so I would say this comes from the idea of 4 times 2. Um, the bottom part, obviously, or not obviously, but you should know if you don't already, is the base. And I'll use a B to represent that. The height, let's well, represent it shockingly by an H. So I would say that the area formula for any rectangle is just base times height. So if I'm telling you that the trapezoid is based off of the formula base times height, I should be able to explain that, right? Well. Let's go to the idea of, okay, it's a four-sided figure, so if I could find these two parts, I'm in good shape. Well, the height, always, by the way, if you're trying to find area, use your uh, right angle kind of as your starting point. That'll help you figure out what parts are important. Like in this case, for this trapezoid, there's lots of numbers here to use. If you just put your pencil or something on the right angle, the parts that make up that right angle should help you find all the parts that you need for your area formula. So when I had the 4 by 2 over here, it's a right angle here. Just pretend in your mind it's a right angle. So the parts that make up this right angle would be the bottom part, which was 4, and the height, which is 2. That's where my base times height comes from. Now in the trapezoid, it gets a little bit muggy. So I've got this, so 7 is my height, obviously, because it's going up and down. So that's where this number would come in. So in my area of, of a rectangle formula, I would still use 7. The problem is the base of the rectangle, the top was 4 and the bottom was 4 also, so I could just use it because that's the number that I needed to use. In a trapezoid, it doesn't work like that. You'll notice that the numbers connected up at the top here would be 3.5, and the number at the bottom is 11.1, .1, which means that I don't need these two to make, base, uh, make the area at all. It has nothing to do with anything as far as finding the area is concerned. But it's almost as if I could take the trapezoid if I just sort of slid this end in a little bit and then I slid this end out a little bit. Similarly, if I just slid this one out and this one in, maybe I could sort of make my own brand spanking new rectangle. And that's what I'm going to do. But I just need to figure out what this new base is going to be. And the easiest way to, if I make an adjustment a little bit out and a little bit in, is just to average the two numbers together. So really, all I'm going to do is take the base on top, which would be uh, base 1, and then I'll add it to base 2 and divide by 2. Because if you take the average of something, uh, you just add up how many, add the values up and then divide by how many there are. Well, there's only two bases here. So I just add up the values of the bases, divide by 2. That's where this comes from. And that's where this comes from. Because if you add these two together, multiply it in the fraction here, it'll be on top and the 2 will be on the bottom. So that's really what you're doing. If you can remember that trapezoid, all you have to do is multiply by the height and the average of the bases, you're in good shape. So anyway, to do this part, I'll need to do 11.1 plus 3.5, and I'll divide by 2. So when I add 11.1 3.5 together, I end up with 14.6. Divide that by 2, and I get 7.3. Well, from my rectangle formula over here, my base now, the one that I made after I pulled and squished these two, is 7.3. You can work all that out and you get 
0.1. But that's not all we have to worry about. You'll notice that it also says miles here. Units are very important because that's how real life works. Real life doesn't have just random numbers. You have units that are involved. And in this case, MI means miles. Um, so I need to adjust. I'm going to do, uh, once I average these together, I end up with 7.3 miles. And of course, the height is 7 miles. Well, if you do miles times miles, you just, this has an exponent of 1, and so does this one. If they don't show, it always works that way. And you just add those two exponents together, and you get miles squared. In the same vein of that argument, by the way, it's a two-dimensional measurement. Area has a length and a width, in this case. So it's a two-dimensional figure, so I'll say 51.1 .1 miles squared. Because a square is type of rectangle, which the trapezoid is related to that. So if it's a two-dimensional measurement, it's squared. If it's a volume, like you're doing a three-dimensional figure, then it'd be m to the third power. If you're just measuring length, it's just miles. So, or mi to the third power from before. But that's it. I mean, it's not really that complicated. It's just the idea that you're averaging the two bases together. So let's do maybe one or two more. In this case, uh, as I was saying before, the big deal here is to make sure that I touch that right angle. So if I was to use this formula, because it's four sides, whatever, um, really, my height would be here. And my base would just be a combination of this and this. So I would squish this one in maybe a little bit, and then maybe even a little bit, tiny bit here. And this one, maybe I'll pull the edge out just a little bit, and then I get a nice you know, new rectangle that, you know, I can work with a rectangle, it's base times height. So in order to make that happen, I need to find the average of these two. So 11.6 plus 5.8. And there's two of them. So that's all I'm going to work together. So I'll do 11.6 plus 5.8 and get 17.4 divided by 2, and it gives me 8.7. And these are both in meters, of course. So I'll just do my old base times height formula that we talked about before and end up with uh, 40.89 meters squared. And really, just because of the fact that these only go to tenths, it makes a lot more sense to go ahead and do 40.9 meters squared as my final answer there. Uh, one more, I think, and that'll be totally done. But as you can see, trapezoids, it's not really that complicated. So if you don't remember the formula, if you could just keep setting up the rectangle formula over and over and over again, everything starts to work out. This one has a lot of pieces to it that you know nobody wants to deal with, but we'll deal with it because what else are we doing? Uh, so I'll raise up the size here just a little bit. Now, the uh, first thing I need to do, as I said before, is I want to touch that right angle just to give me some focus. And here it is. So this line makes up the height, and these two make up the bases. It might be a good idea to circle the bases in some way to identify them. And then if you don't need these for now, you can mark through them or whatever. But if you have to find perimeter later, you will need them, because perimeter is going all the way around, because you know that's kind of what peri means. Anyway, I'll set up the formula for a rectangle. My height is 3.1 kilometers. Now for my base, once again, we'll do a little uh, slide this piece out a little bit and probably slide this piece in a whole bunch and equal them out to make my rectangle. So I'll need to do 9 plus 3 divided by 2. So I'll average it out. It'll tell me how long the new rectangle base will be. So 9 plus 3, of course, is 12 divided by 2, and it gives me 6. So my new base is 6 kilometers. And now I'm ready to do a little bit of really super difficult multiplication and do 6 times 3.1 and get 18.6 kilometers. And it's a two-dimensional unit or two-dimensional measurement, so I'll say kilometers squared. And that's it for trapezoids. It doesn't The, the formula is a little bit weird. Uh, if you want to use the formula, that's fine. I just thought I'd go at it from a different perspective just so you can see where it comes from and what all that means. So I hope this helps.